Good morning kids, our lesson for today is about human life cycle. Humans grow and develop like other living things. Do you remember what you looked like when you were younger? Look at your baby pictures, then look at yourself in the mirror. How have you changed since you were a baby? You have learned the different developmental stages of various animals. Just like them, humans also undergo distinct phases of growth and development. In this lesson, you will uncover the different stages of the human life cycle. Through engaging activities, you will identify the similarities and differences between human and animal life cycles. Lastly, you will realize the importance of these stages and accept the changes that go along with them. In this lesson, you will, first, describe the different stages of human life cycle, second, compare and contrast human life cycle with animal life cycle, and, third, explain the importance of growth and development. All right, kids, let's do activity number one. Kids try comparing your present self to your younger self. You may have observed notable changes in your body. You have grown taller, and your muscles and bones have become stronger. These changes do not stop there. They continue as you age. The phases you have undergone are part of the stages of the human life cycle. Stages of Human Life Cycle Stage 1 Birth or Infant Birth is the first stage in one's life cycle. It is the time when you were born as an infant. At this stage, you could not crawl or walk by yourself, feed yourself, or even express yourself clearly. You were totally dependent on your parents for care and nourishment. Some important things that a baby experiences are learning to crawl, walk, and talk, developing a sense of trust, and showing feelings of love, happiness, and protection. Stage 2 – Childhood 1 to 12 years old, your first birthday marks the next stage, called childhood. Childhood may last until 12 years of age. This is the phase when most of your growth and development happens. During childhood, your body develops, along with your abilities. You could explore your environment by yourself. You could communicate or express what you wanted to say. You could dress yourself up. You could play games and watch shows on television. You could even do such tasks as cleaning your room and looking after your pets. What other important things mark childhood? This is the time when a child learns motor skills, or skills that require the use of the brain and muscles to perform activities like walking, running, biking, and playing sports. The child begins to go to school and learns many things. Stage 3 Adolescence, 13 to 18 years old. Once you reach the age of 13, you enter the adolescent stage. This phase, which is known as the adolescent or teenage years, may last until 18 years of age. At this stage, you will experience more physical and mental developments. 
you may also face social and emotional challenges that will prepare you for maturity. Some important developments that you may experience are the exploration of personal wants or interests and a desire to be more independent. You may plan what you want to be as you grow older. Surely, you will undergo rapid physical changes and the development of secondary sexual characteristics. The last stage, adulthood, 19 years old onwards, adulthood, which is usually from 18 years onward, is the last stage. At this phase, your body will be fully grown and developed. You will likely be more mature and totally independent. Some important developments that happen during adulthood, 1. Interest in setting education and career goals, 2. Continued growth in knowledge and expertise, 3. Establishment of long-term social relationships, and, 4. Gradual aging and a potential decline in physical abilities. However, growth and development may differ from person to person. Some people may experience faster growth and development, while others may develop talents or capabilities later than usual. Alright kids, can you tell me which stage of the human life cycle you are in right now? Comment your answer below. Alright kids, let's check out the diagram below. This will help us see the summary of what we learned in today's lesson. Activity number two, on a piece of bond paper, create a big Venn diagram. Compare and contrast the human life cycle with the animal life cycle. You may draw or paste pictures to show their differences. Below the Venn diagram, explain in three to five sentences their similarities and differences. Activity number three, below are pictures representing the stages in the human life cycle. The pictures are labeled A, B, C, and D. In your notebook, write the labels according to the correct order of the stages by using 1 to 4. Activity number four, imagine yourself 10 years from now. In your notebook, draw your future self. Then, below it, write a promise letter for your future self. The letter should include some actions or measures you will take today to make your future self healthy and happy. Get ready to share this letter with your classmates. <laughs> 